Rather, she made a decision to execute a spoken word poem about the challenges of being a woman of color on campus. People cautioned her that might not be a winning talent, but that was okay, she chose. She had been there to make a point. Alexis Cooper had plenty of options for the talent portion of the Miss Utah State University pageant. She could play the viola or the piano, she believed it sure he could dance. She couldn't see the crowd through the bright spotlight as she recited. After she finished, she heard nothing but silence. And I thought, oh my gosh, it's happening. Everyone hated it and I messed up and I just outed myself and all of the people of color on this campus, Cooper said. Holy cow, now everyone is going to assume that I am just some angry black woman who's up here preaching to them. Cooper, a junior agriculture science major, was crowned Masusa last week. Though her poem explored her difficulties on the predominantly white campus, she said her experience following the same path as her white grandmother, who was also a beauty queen and a sorority sister at Usu, represents a stride forward. Her paternal grandmother, Freddie Cooper, would tell me stories about how she wasn't allowed to go to the front door of some clothing stores, in the South, because she was black, Cooper recalled. It just shows that, through the generations, things get better and things become more inclusive and we were on the right side of history, us inclusive and understanding people, Cooper said. And eventually us little guys, the little diverse guys, if we're loud enough, we will make changes and we will be heard. A USA spokesman said he couldn't confirm whether a black woman had ever before been crowned as Miss Usu, noting that the school doesn't keep track of that information. The school's student body is currently more than 85% white, according to enrollment numbers for spring 2018. I am more than a contrary color, she said in her poem, contrasting her life as an undergraduate researcher and palpating pregnant cows against stereotypes. We can't let ignorance lead us down a path where we don't realize our mind is trapped in the boxes and check marks that this world has made us attached to each gender and skin tone. Many of the contestants sang or danced but one performed magic tricks and another yodeled, according to Riley Michelson, a USA student and the event's director. I did know that a spoken word poem wasn't going to be the most conventional of pageant talents, Michelson said. But Miss Usu, is supposed to highlight the women of our school and all of their unique differences. And so from that perspective, I thought her talent was perfect. Rhett Ballantyne, a student at Usu who attended the pageant, said he initially was wary when Cooper began talking about her experiences. But ultimately, he said, he walked away from the pageant with an understanding that we shouldn't judge anybody based on any beliefs, cultures, ethnicities or religion or anything, because everybody has something to give and everybody is just a normal person. Freddie Cooper, her paternal grandmother, went to the pageant and saw her win. Cooper thinks Jensen, her late maternal grandmother, would have been proud of her, as well. Later in life, Cooper said, Jensen realized she had been blind to racism before she helped raise a black grandchild. <laughs>